evening i am assistant professor urmi shah from itict department of lg university so today we are going to study unit number 5 of our telecommunication course that is data networks basically data networks are related to the network communication where you have to deal with various different data based on the geographical coverage you all might have studied it in bcn subject that is data communication architecture regarding local area network metropolitan area network and wide area network the same thing we are going to study in this lecture so let's move ahead with the content of unit number 5 of telecommunication engineering that is data network so basically in this we are going to study regarding end to end layers satellite based data networks local area networks lan technologies up till now in the previous session we have already studied it, the various networks and its classification that is local area network wide area network and metropolitan area network from now onwards we will be moving ahead in depth regarding all these three topics so the first layer which is there is end to end layer basically in iso or osi model layer number 4 to 7 of iso and osi reference model is representing the following four different types of layer that is transport session presentation application layer so basically this four communication layers or iso layers are used to communicate with peer entities in the end system that's why they are included as a part of end to end layer while communication among these layers there are no intermediate systems hence layers 4 to 7 are called end to end layers nextly there is a satellite based data network system in this the important aspects of satellite communication system are included covering the following points basically the application of all these data networks is included in satellite communication application and how this data networks are utilized that we are going to study in this topics so basically here it is an application based on satellite communication using data networks so the important aspects cover in satellite communication regarding data network is when number of earth stations are less for data communication demand it is assigned multiple access technique when number of earth stations are more for data communication aloha protocols are used satellite based network is configured in star topology with satellite as central hub nextly differentiating the issues and the corresponding references for satellite based data network so the issues in satellite based data networks are satellite network topology and configurations modulation schemes and bandwidth utilization media access geosynchronous satellite is placed at 36000 km above the earth signal have to travel 72000 km resulting in propagation delay of 250 and 300 milliseconds the corresponding osi reference includes physical layer functions data link layer functions session and transport layer functions so these are the basic three references based on which the issues resulting with satellite based data networks are resulted 
So basically the task of session and transport layer is to place or is to transfer a signal from one place to another place. The same role is assigned in satellite based data network in form of geosynchronous satellite is placed at 36,000 km above the earth and signal have to travel 72,000 km resulting in propagation delay that is 250 to 300 milliseconds. Now the role of data link layer is to perform access between one or two layer regarding data. So that media access issue is related to data link layer. While physical layer includes satellite network topology, configuration, modulation schemes and bandwidth utilization for the satellite based application. So following are the topics and the issues and corresponding OSI references for satellite based data network. Moving ahead, the local area networks are distributed environment which are having the applications in different areas that is the first application is office automation second application is factory automation the third application is distributed computing the fourth application is fire and safety systems Fifth one is process control and sixth one is document distribution. So these are the following six application in the area of satellite based network. Coming to the advantages of LAN. LANs can be expanded when need arises. LAN can work well even when one or two systems in the network fails. This improves reliability and availability of the systems to user. LAN provides a resource sharing environment, expensive peripherals, host and databases may be shared by all users. The user is not committed to a single vendor because of LAN standards. Performance and hence productivity is improved using LAN. So following are the applications and advantages of local area network and its wide, wide usage in different industrial and automation areas. Coming to the technologies which are applicable or which are applied in local area network. So basically in LEN technologies there are different topologies which are used for data networks. The first topology is mesh topology. The second topology is star topology. The third one is burst topology and the fourth one is ring topology. Topology of LAN refers to the manner in which nodes are geometrically arranged and connected. So basically the mesh, star, bus or ring topology defines the network structure in which they are connected from one node to another node. Like for star topology, we have network structure plays in form of star symbol. In ring, we have in circular form. So this way, the shape or the structure can be changed based on the name of topology for different node structure connections. So these are all the topologies which are used in local area network. Coming to the access methods which are used in LAN technologies. The first one is switched access. The second one is contention or multiple access. The third one is token passing access. So these are the three different types of access methods that are used in local area network. Coming to the next the access methods which are further used in local area network are multiple access bus, token ring and token bus. 
Now, these are the references for the topics that we have covered today. You can refer any of these books for the topics that we have covered today. So, following are the reference books. Further, in this topic which we have studied it today, that is local area network, its various topologies, what are the different structures used in local area network, we can also have the coverage of all the data networks in common using all the communication architecture which we have studied it in the previous session. So basically, let's have a brief summary of what we have studied it in today's lecture is the first one we have seen is what is a end-to-end -end layer. So basically in end-to-end -end layer we have studied it that it covers the last four layers of OSI ISO reference model and it helps in transferring the data or communicating between the layers for required application. And then we have saw the application of this data network that is satellite based data networks. In this basically all the network coverage is controlled via satellite based communication via usage of central hub and star topology network. Here multiple access technique is used for accessing the data and for communication between various stations and ALOHA protocols are used for data transfer. Then we have seen the issues related to the satellite based data network corresponding to the OSI reference model layers. Then we saw regarding the application of satellite based data network. In industry as well as in automation both the places these applications are widely used or are in current trending use. Then we saw regarding the advantages of local area network. Like we all are using local area networks right now. If I am sitting in my cabin then also we are having a LAN connection which is connected to our PC. So that is a very very widely or frequently used application of LAN as it is widely used for resource sharing between the various host and databases and it is shared by all the users. So these are the certain common application or advantages of local area network. In LAN technologies following four topologies are used that is MASH, STAR, BUS and RING. These are the four widely used topologies which are covered in local area network. Then nextly we have seen what are the access methods that are used in LAN that is switch access. Then we have contention or multiple access. Then we have token passing exits, then we have multiple access bus, then we have token ring and then we have token bus. So these are the widely used access methods for LAN technologies. These are the references and in the upcoming next session we will be dealing about the wider area networks, what are its applications that we will be seeing. Thank you very much for watching this session. In the upcoming session, we will be continuing with this unit and its further usage. Thank you so much for watching this session.